A lawmaker in the state of Virginia wants to ensure that people who are transgender do not go into any bathroom that they wish to go into. In fact, their genitalia should determine which bathroom they go to. Hmm. Again, New Year, same old tired argument by conservatives who are paranoid about people using bathrooms. Okay, So House Bill 663, proposed by Delegate Mark Cole of the state's House of Representatives, defines anatomical sex as the physical condition of being male or female, which is determined by a person's anatomy. It would require all restrooms on property owned or leased by the state solely be used by individuals whose anatomical sex matches their gender designation. Now, those who violate this proposed uh, law, if, if it becomes law would have to pay a $50 fine, okay? Here's the thing though. How do you enforce a law like that? Like are you he wants this to also be applied to children going to public schools in the state. So do you want you know, administrators or educators to check their genitalia and make sure they're okay before they go into the designated bathrooms? And just let it go. Let it go. I'm sure Virginia is dealing with other issues right now. Look, it, it, it the proposal is all balls out. I mean, it is really ballsy. Mm -hmm. It is balls to the wall. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, I didn't know if you were being uh, intentional with your puns. I guess you were. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, really, you're going to check people's junk? Like that's what you're going to do? And that's the thing. These guys, I know some of them really are like, they live in fear and they're like, oh my God, is somebody going to check out me? Oh, dude, nobody's checking you out. I saw your picture. Nobody's checking you out. Right? <laughs> oh my God, they're going to come for my kids and stuff. I don't know. Okay, some of them are perverts. And they're like, uh, and do we have to check all their genitalia? Okay, a oh, fine, I volunteer. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. And so I don't think this guy's actually going to be in the bathroom looking through balls. I don't even think, <laughs> looking but, through balls. but here's the thing I don't even think that he's really thought this through. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't, the law doesn't imply that they have to do genitalia checks, but how do you enforce this? I mean, that's really the only way you would enforce something like this. And also, like, what do you do? You call the cops and you, you like tell the cops, like, oh my God, the wrong person is using the wrong bathroom. And what world do we live in where people think that there's like all this sexual stuff happening in a place where people are taking a dump, mm -hmm. right? Like, I don't know. Maybe some people are into that. Well, actually, that's not true. Sometimes people do have sex in the bathroom. Yes, I know about that. Okay, but they're in the same bathroom, same gender bathroom, usually, nine out of ten times. I didn't know. Yeah, that. generally speaking, that's how that's what happens. Yes, that's how uh, that's how uh, the guy from Wham got caught, uh, George Michael, uh, with another guy in the guy's bathroom. <laughs> okay, it is too bad there wasn't a cock cop there. To, oh, actually, there was, uh, and that's how they caught him. So, <laughs> look, I know that this guy when he proposed this, he didn't really think it through. It was a little cocky on his part. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but I really hope he's not doing this to cop a field. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen, they're not. If somebody's uh, transgender, it's an incredibly hard thing to take on. Okay, no pun intended there. Okay, so and and so they're not going to do that just to check out your dick or your or or you women. It's not, a guy's not going to be like, yes, I'm going to dress as a woman for the rest of my life so I can sneak into the girl's bathroom and check out her badge. That's not how they're thinking about it. Uh, who thinks that that's the elaborate ruse that they're coming up with? Come on, get realistic. You're doing it mainly out of fear. Yeah, and look, people who are inclined to have sex in bathrooms are going to have sex in bathrooms whether or not you pass this law, right? And oftentimes they don't involve transgender inv individuals. So, yeah, yeah. So just let it go. I, I know you'd really want to do this testes, but don't do it. Okay, we gotta wrap it up. <laughs> Okay, this is, this okay. is my boss, by the way. Okay, he's my boss. Cock balls. <laughs> okay.